pleasant morning everyone. So by the way, I am Sitinor Amiludin. So I'm here to report about Five Land Abdella. So I'm going to introduce uh, who is Five Land Abdella because most of the nursing student only knows about uh, Florence Nightingale. So this time we will know who is Five Land Abdella. So her theory is called Train One Nursing Problems Theory. So um, let's start with the question, who is Fight Glenn Abdella? So uh, Fight Glenn Abdella was born on March 13, 1999 at New York, United States. And he was died on February 24, 2017. So she was uh, the first officers, the first officer to run a two rear star admiral, which is the first nurse and the first uh, woman to serve as a deputy. Deputy Surgeon General. So when you say Deputy Surgeon General, it's basically the leader of uh, United States Public Health Services Commission. So si Fidelin Abdella is hindi lang siya theorist because she is also a military, military nurse and a leader in nursing research. So uh, let me give some short background of her early life. So she... Uh, she and her family subsequently moved at uh, New Jersey, where she attended her high school. So a year later, uh, on May 6, 1937, uh, the German hydrogen-fueled airship Hindenburg exploded over the Lake Hurst. So Abdel and her brother witnessed the explosion, the destruction, and the fire. So. The ignited hydrogen killed many people. So that incident became the turning point of her life. It was the time when she realized that she would never be uh, powerless again. So because of that incident, incident na humasok sa isip niya na uh, nagkaroon siya ng courage to pursue being nurse. So and also become a professional nurse. So uh, let's proceed about her education. So as I said, she, uh, she uh, graduated her uh, secondary level at um, New Jersey. She studied at Fenkin Memorial Hospital School of Nursing or also known as May School of Nursing. She graduated as magna cum laude on 1942. So she went on to achieve a three degree, which is the Bachelor of Degree in Nursing on uh, 1945 and the Master Arts Degree in Philosophy. And lastly, is the Doctor of Education degree. It was on 1955. So with her advanced uh, education, Abdella could have chosen to become a uh, medical uh, to become a doctor. However, she explains on her interviews that uh, she would never wanted to become a medical doctor because uh, she could do all she wanted to do in nursing, which is the profession, uh, caring profession. So, uh, Abdella's typology of 21 nursing problems. Abdella is well known for developing her uh, theory, which is the 21 nursing problems. So, uh, that has, which is yung, uh, theory niya is yan yung uh, interrelated concept of the health, the problem solving, and uh, nursing problems. Kung baga, yung theory niya is about yung sa health, about sa uh, nursing problems, uh, at saka kung paano yung sinasolve yung mga problems. Then aside from being of uh, being the first nurse and the first woman to serve as a deputy surgeon general, uh, Abdella also made a name in the nursing prof uh, profession to formulate her 21 nursing uh, problems theory. Kung baga, she's uh, continue, on, continue for uh, pursuing na ma-develop yung theory na ginawa niya. Her theory changed the focus of uh, 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 nursing from uh, from desired fr from disease centered to patient centered kumbaga uh ba, if yung nurses is na focus sila sa um disease disease then because of her theory naging patient centered na sa so, doon din nagsimula na ma-include yung care sa families and the elderly nursing care 
And then according to uh, her theory, nursing is based on an art and science that molds the attitude, intellectual competencies, and technical skills of the individual nurse into the desire and ability to help people sick or well cope with their health needs. So, um, the 21 nursing problems fall into three categories, which is the physical, the sociological, and the emotional needs of patients. Abdella's 21 nursing problems are to maintain good hygiene and physical comfort, to promote optimal activity like exercise, rest, and sleep, to promote safety by preventing accidents, injuries, or other trauma, and preventing the spread of infection, to maintain good body mechanics, and prevent and correct the deformity, to facilitate the maintenance of a supply of oxygen to all body cells, to facilitate the maintenance of nutrition for all body cells, to facilitate the maintenance of elimination, to facilitate the maintenance of fluid and electrocyte balance, to recognize the physiologic responses of the body to disease condition, pathogenic, physiologic, and compensatory, to facilitate the maintenance of regulatory mechanics and function, to facilitate the maintenance of sensory function, to identify and accept positive and negative expressions, feeling and reactions, to identify and accept interrelatedness of emotion and organic illness, to facilitate the maintenance of ev effective verbal and nonverbal communication, to promote the development of productive interpersonal relationship, to facilitate progress toward achievement and personal spiritual goals, to create or maintain a therapeutic environment, to facilitate awareness of self as an individual with varying physical, emotional, and developmental needs, to accept the optimum possible goals in the light of elimination, physical, and emotional, to use community resource as an in resolving problems that arise from an illness, and lastly is to understand the role of social problems as influencing factors in the cause of illness. So let's proceed for uh, the four fundamental concepts that is essential to nursing according to Abdella. We have here person, environment, health, and nursing. So person, let's start with this. Person is described as people having physical, psychological, and sociological needs. So the patient or the person or the patient is the main uh, reason for the existence of uh, nursing. So another one is environment. Environment, it has been shown that environment on which patients are located clearly affect patient well-being. Yes, the environment will um, affect the condition or the health of the patient. So, dapat the, yung mga pasyente is meron silang good environment. So, nurses also, nurses is also a part of the environment of the patient. Does the nurse take the uh, responsi responsibility in making the environment co uh, conducive for um, restoration of health? Another one is health. So, when you say health, it was uh, discussed by Abdelal, which is he, she discussed that health as a state without illness. Then, uh, according to uh, World Health Organization, health uh, is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being without uh, diseases or infirmity. Then, um, it is also defined as the center and purpose of nursing services because uh, the nursing is now focused on health ng um, patient or the uh, yung mga tao. So the lastly is nursing. Nursing is based on the discipline of art and science that serves as individual sick or well cope with their health needs. And then nursing is defined as provision of service to uh, individual and families or even the society. 
the nursing process in Abdella's 21 nursing problems theory is we have assessment, the nursing diagnosis, the planning uh, phase, the implementation, and the evaluation. So, uh, of course, so first you have to assess the um, you have to assess your uh, patient. You have to uh, collect the data. Then another one is plan uh, nursing di diagnosis. The result of data collected, now you have to diagnose. Then another uh, next step is planning. You have to make a plan about the problem you collect from your patient. Then uh, after planning, you have to implement the plan. You have, uh, you made, kasi nonsense yung ginawa mong plano to solve the problem if you didn't uh, implement. Then last one is evaluation. You have to evaluate kung ano yung naging resulta ng plano na ginawa mo, even it is a uh, Nakuha mo yung uh, goal or hindi. That's all and thank you. You know me the best. You know my worst. See me hurt, but you don't judge.